Hello and welcome to the Dalubal Tutorials. Today, I will explain what a force is in mechanics and structural engineering respectively and how it's applied in our software. In physics, we describe force with the unit Newton and in mathematics by the force vector. This force vector is composed of a horizontal and vertical component relative to its coordinate system. In the case of a two-dimensional structural system, the force F is divided into Fx and Fy. Force is the result of multiplying the mass by the gravitational acceleration or the material weight density by the corresponding volume. In structural engineering, each material includes weight per unit volume. This is referred to as a bulk weight density. It is therefore the product of the density and the gravitational acceleration. The unit of the weight density is kilogram per cubic meter or kilonewton per cubic meter. The weight densities of various building materials are listed in the standards for structural engineers. For this reason, the force can also be the product of the weight density and the volume, as mentioned before. Let's clarify this context now by deriving the force from a steel material's self-weight. The mass itself is the product of the weight density and the volume. From this, you get rho multiplied by g multiplied by v. We obtain the weight density from rho multiplied by g. The steel density is 7,850 kg per cubic meter. The gravitational acceleration is 9.81 m per second squared. It is rounded up to 10 m per second squared or to 10 n per kilogram. If we continue to use it in the formula, this simplification results in a weight density of 78,500 newtons per cubic meter. For this reason, a steel cross-section has a weight density of 78.5 kN per cubic meter. Now we apply the theory shown in the earlier example and display the specific weight in RFEM. We create a new material in the data navigator located on the left and open the material library. We continue to select the materials according to the Eurocode standard and take a look at Structural Steel S-235. For steel, the specific weight is 78.5 kN per cubic meter. We check the same material parameters for reinforced concrete. The specific weight here is 25 kilonewtons per cubic meter. However, lightweight concrete has a lower specific weight. For a timber material, we select a softwood. Here you can also see that the specific weight increases with the higher strength class. But how is the weight of a certain cross section converted into a force? For this, we create a 10 meter long single span beam so that we can evaluate the self weight. We click the new member button in the toolbar and create a new cross section. We select a steel section EP300 and the material S235. Finally, we confirm all dialog boxes with OK. We select the grid point at the origin and draw a 10 meter long straight member. To view the self weight, we first need to create a load case. 
Create a new load case by clicking the New Load Case button in the toolbar. It is important here that the self-weight is activated. We use the Display Navigator to display the self-weight of the beam in the Loads section. The self-weight of 0.422 kN per meter resulted from the cross-section area multiplied by the specific weight of the steel section. To ensure that the entire system remains in equilibrium, we add supports. To do this, we click New Nodal Support in the toolbar and create a pin support at both the left and right ends. We'll look at the relationship between loads and support forces in the next videos. Let us know in the comments if you like this video. We always look forward to your feedback or suggestions, so feel free to let us know in the comments below this video.